Holy smokes, guys. Things just keep getting better for SoFi stock. We officially hit $10.50. You heard that right. $10.50 earlier in the day. And now it's about noon on the East Coast. And we're at $10.20, up over 1.5% on the day so we have to break down the charts my thoughts what i'm looking to do and later in the video if we have time we'll touch upon the markets which guys the indexes are not looking pretty right now at all except for the russell which is up around half of a percent but yeah jam-packed video hit the like button make sure to subscribe and get your free money for mumu up to 15 stocks with at least a 100 dollar deposit and right now when you do deposit at least 100 bucks you get a 30 dollar cash bonus just like that guys and your uninvested cash will earn up to 8.1 percent APY, just use that link down below or go to stasurfest.com slash mumu. And with that being said, cheers. Let's dive right into the video and talk about SoFi making history. Well, at least recent history, because this stock has been down and out for the last couple of months, all year pretty much. And now we're finally starting to build momentum you guys can see now we're over ten dollars per share which we did crack above yesterday momentarily i think we hit ten dollars and seven cents that might have been the high from yesterday and today we completely broke out of there right we hit 1050 during the uh the session here about two hours ago at about 10 a.m on the east coast and here on thinkorswim it looks like we hit 1050 as well right in the beginning of the pre-market at 4 a.m. here on the East Coast. You guys can see SoFi hit 1050, or at least it says here on Thinkorswim that it hit 1050. So we obviously are continuing the uptrend with this move here. We broke out of the highs from yesterday, from the last couple of days, weeks, and months for that matter, right? As you all can see as I pull back the layers, and now officially... As we hit 1050, guys, we were up three dollars per share off the low from just two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago on the second of October. We hit seven dollars and fifty cents on the second of October, which means we were up 40 percent off that low at one point. And this goes to show how fast these kinds of stocks can move smaller companies, right? This is not a multi hundred billion dollar market cap company, right? It's, or at least it was an $8 billion company. Now it's probably a nine, 10 plus billion dollar company, but companies of that size, they could see moves like this. It's totally um, normal. It's not, it's not like it's unusual to see a stock, a company like SoFi, their stock price to see it move like this. It's not un unusual, right? So we're obviously breaking out, no doubt about it. And on the four hour chart, now we're officially at a fresh high. Like you guys know, we've been talking about some key levels on here, eight dollars and fifty cents, you know, nine dollars and fifteen cents, which we broke out of, um, you know, nine dollars and forty five cents. That was the high from January, which obviously now we broke out of. Uh, we're completely ripping through there. And I mentioned to you guys, I, I think in the video yesterday, $10.50 was the high from December of last year, right? That's actually um, the last time until, uh, you know, up until today that we hit 1050. You guys can see here we hit 1049 on the dot here on the 27th of December, it looks like. And today officially uh, we broke out of there, even though it's not showing it here on the uh, think or swim chart i don't know why i guess it takes a little bit <laughs> for it to update but yeah man we're heading in the right direction and we have filled all the gaps that we've called out here right 850 we filled that gap 915 945 now we filled the gap to 1050 and to be honest man we might be due for some sort of little pullback or some sideways trading I don't really know. That's what I'm thinking, at least heading into earnings here. 
But with this being not a crazy high short interest stock, but there there is short interest, guys. People are shorting. Who knows, man? Who knows? You know, we might squeeze up even higher. More shorts might cover, maybe even before earnings come out. That's totally possible. So you never really know. You might think it's overbought and it can't go even higher, but it might. You never know. And if we crack over $10.50, folks, well, where could we be going? I'm glad you asked, guys. I'm glad you asked. The next gap to fill here, at least looking at this three-year chart, we can see is at $11.75. That's where the stock was just about a year and three months ago in July of 2023. Not too long ago, guys. Not too long ago. So, yeah, we uh, we filled the gap to 850, 915, 945, 1050. Now, if we continue cracking through 1050, we'll see 1175 could be the next gap to fill. And is it guaranteed? Is it for sure going to happen? No, guys. For all we know, this could cut in half and go back to 5 bucks tomorrow for all we know, right? Nobody knows what's going to happen, but, you know, all things are moving in SoFi's favor, right? We're getting rate cuts. You know, that's good for them. Uh, you know, more, more and more people are applying for mortgages, student loans, right? Personal loans. That's good. We just got a couple partnership announcements. That's good. Um, you know, th th there's just a lot going on. The, the stock's shorted, so we're getting a bit of a short squeeze right now as well. Um, so there's a lot working in its favor. And the only thing that could rain on SoFi's parade right now would be A, I guess there's two things, probably more, but two prominent things. A, a stock market overall sell-off, right? Maybe after the election, I don't know, which is coming up here in two, three weeks, by the way. Maybe after an election, the election, we get a bit of a sell-off, I don't know, in the overall stock market. That could cause SoFi to come down, right? So that's A. And B, if they don't do well on earnings. Earnings are coming up here in about two weeks, right? Two, three weeks on the 29th of this month in the morning. So if they don't do well on earnings, guidance especially, that could be setting us up for maybe a bit of a sell-off here. But we've come up so much, guys. We're pushing over $10 now. Even a, a pullback, I mean, we, we'd be at $9, $9.50, $9.25, you know, even with a, a decent pullback. And that's still way above where we've been over the last couple of months. So even if this thing pulls back a, a sizable amount, it's still going to be looking good on the charts. So what do you guys think about SoFi? What are you doing? By the way, I'm long. I'm holding on. I'm not selling anything. I'm not buying any shares here either, but I'm just simply holding on. Let me know what you guys are doing in the comments down below. And we're doing this in the midst of a red day. Right now, all the indexes except for the Russell are in the red. The NASDAQ's down 1.3%. Not the best day for the NASDAQ 100. The S&P is down about half of a percent, which I think a lot of these were due for a pullback, especially the S&P and the Dow. So SPY's down half of a percent. The Dow's down about 0.3. Much needed pullback on these. Uh, but the Russell's pushing, man. Pushing a big multi-month resistance at about 2250, 2300, which if that breaks, if that plays out, we get out of this resistance, all-time highs could be coming on the Russell. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers, guys. And shout out to everybody that's been joining the Patreon. If you want to see me build out my private Patreon portfolio, you want to be a part of the Discord, you want to have access to me, my thoughts, charts, and ideas throughout the week, it's all on Patreon, guys. Simple. Link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Patreon. Make sure to join. I'll see you guys on the inside. And let me know if you have any questions about that, by the way. Go to my email. That's linked down below. I'll shoot you a response. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys in the next video.